for the All Nations Championship and belt that goes with that title. It's to be wrestled over a time limit of 30 minutes with the one fall, one submission or knockout to decide the winner. Presenting and introducing to you, coming from the red corner, will you welcome from Hertfordshire, the, one of the leading contenders and tonight the official challenger, Tommy Lawrence. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Aaron Nix. It is big fight for your time here in the Spotlight Fair, and you can feel the energy. Something is in the air here tonight. This is the first of our championship matchups here in the Spotlight. The All Nations champion, Tate Mayfair, defends against the blue chipper and the number one contender, Tommy Lawrence. Cash 22 is back in the house, and we appreciate that representation. And man, Tate Mayfair's has been ever present and ever destructive as the all nations champion and bar a couple of blips has held that belt pretty much since the turn of the decade and well, this crowd obviously huge fans of tommy lawrence understandably so talk about somebody with a huge upside nearly six foot three 220 in world class condition and just entering the professional wrestling scene damn near a rookie really when you consider the amount of years he's been in the game but already the complete package some people liken tommy lawrence to a lot of the biggest stars on your tv and we're very blessed to have him here at Rumble Wrestling and what a feather in his cap and talk about announcing your arrival if he could beat Tate Mayfair for the All Nations Championship. But Tate, this is greatness, didn't get that far in his career by giving a loss up to some of the more, shall we say, blue chippers in our business. Tate, this is greatness. And if you go to Google, and if you type in the greatest professional wrestler to ever walk planet Earth, it's not just a catchphrase, it's there, plain to see for everyone on Google Image Search. The first man who comes up is Tate Mayfair's. That's how good Tate Mayfair's is. Lethal, cerebral, athletic, the entire full package of professional wrestling. Big shoulder block takes down Tommy Lawrence, pinning combination, just a two count. Referee Matt Wilson is in charge of this contest and Tate Mayfair is now taking control of said contest. The All Nations Championship on the line inside the world-renowned Spotlight Theatre. A place that has seen every champion that you can imagine from Big Daddy to Giant Hangstacks to Steve Gray and beyond. And now it sees Tate Mayfair, the next in a long line and lineage of professional wrestling excellence in Britain. Now Tommy Lawrence looking to pick up a bit of pace. Oh, I think he was looking to leapfrog over Tate Mayfair. Tate Mayfair very smartly plucked him out of midair with a shoulder bone. Goes back to that leg. And Tate, that is very smart, trying to take out the wheels of Tommy Lawrence, who favours that leg for a moment there. But the wrist lock control is applied. And you can really see the height of Tommy Lawrence. From a distance, you might be fooled into thinking, ah, oh, this is another young, high-flying whippersnapper. And of course, he is those things. But he is also a competent and professional wrestler in every sense and of course you would be when you were trained by Mike 
Bird, one of the greatest to do it at catch 22. Wrist lock applied once again. And Tommy Lawrence really has the trajectory of a megastar. And he wants to be where Tate Mayfair's already is at. The top of the mountain. One of the best in the world. And he's got the gold that proves it. Everywhere Tate Mayfair's goes, there is excellence, there is gold, there is championships, there is money, there is champagne. And there is professional wrestling at its finest, and he knows it. That hip-hop, that pose. Tate Mayfair's knows he is one of the best in the game. And if you don't believe me, just ask him. He'll tell you so. Now, Tommy Lawrence, not impressed, and that is something that he's going to be... Oh, wow. Tommy Lawrence mocking Tate Mayfairs, and you've got to love the confidence of this young man as he sidesteps him, goes for the sweep, leapfrogs over the top of Tate Mayfairs, goes for another sweep, and then catches him flush with that lovely drop kick right on the chest. And when the pace quickens, there are none faster than Tommy Lawrence, the proverbial whip it. An absolute frenetic hound of energy is Tommy Lawrence, and watch out for those educated feet, by the way, and I think, oh, look at that, he was looking to cock the hammer and fire but Tate Mayfair's cuts him off with European uppercut sends him into the corner gets caught with the big boot coming in Tommy Lawrence up to the second rope watch out for the athleticism once again and a beautiful shotgun drop kick absolutely flattens Tate and a gorgeous kip up I mean if this was about points then I think Tommy Lawrence might be ahead but this is not boxing and now a big scoop slam to Tate Mayfair's and Tate Mayfair's knows a little something about boxing training in London, and one of the most vaunted gyms, lovely standing shooting star press from Tory Lawrence. Think about that. This man is 6'3, 220, and just pops off a standing shooting star. Outrageous athleticism, and I don't think Tate Mayfair appreciates that. You can see the frustration, the pain etched across his face. I think he's been caught by surprise. Oh, you can see the anger starting to build. Tate Mayfair does not like being made a mug of and ah oh, very smart by Tate and takes that wheel out again and a real unfortunate position for Tommy Lawrence and a clothesline just flattens the young kid in the middle of the ring pinfall attempt two count only Tate Mayfair is just barking at this audience and now looking at cravat that left leg it's very smart Tommy Lawrence might be right footed but you plant all of your weight on the left leg and that's exactly why Tate Mayfair is attacking that leg and now gorgeous power slam catches him coming in two count again and this is what Tate Mayfair does Tate Mayfair can go he has the speed he has the athleticism but he prefers a more methodical dissection you see that kick to the face nothing fancy about that that is ugly he's a street fighter and oh wow that is one right between the shoulder blades. And I'll tell you what, if he was a punter in the NFL, that would be good for at least 50 or 60 yards. Tate Mayfair really is the most well-rounded professional wrestler the world has probably ever seen to this day. But the elbow drop as well. It's the methods in which he does it that people don't like. Two count only. But if we like the methods or not, that's kind of inconsequential when it comes down to the fact that he's been all nations champion. Pretty much, like I say, bar a couple of momentary blips, a couple of weeks here and there, where he's been caught short by the likes of Danny Black, for instance, who continues to be a menace. And speaking of menacing, Tate Mayfair's just wearing down Tommy Lawrence, patented Tate Mayfair's behavior. As I've said, whether you like it or lump it, Tate Mayfair has been all-nations champion for the best part of three to four years. DDT and now looking to cover Tommy Lawrence and slowly but surely wearing down Tommy Lawrence and referee Matt Wilson drawing the ire of Tate Mayfair who believes he should have already had a free count at this point. Look at the contortion. And look at the way that he is just maladjusting the fingers of Tommy Lawrence. Oh my God, he's tearing, splitting at the ligaments and tendons and could have broken a finger, could have dislocated one. 
That is an ugly, ugly position to be in. And Tate Mayfair is in full control of Tommy Lawrence in this All Nations Championship matchup. Right hand by Tommy Lawrence. Look at him try and create any kind of separation. Dare I say Tate Mayfair would have the advantage when it comes to a slugfest as well. And he catches Lawrence coming in. Gorgeous clothesline with full velocity. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Just a two count only. Well, that was, oh man, that was inadvisable. Tommy Lawrence thrusting that leg out, trying anything to create some separation. And that is just ugly. A violent, big old kick right into the back, the lower back as well of Tommy Lawrence. And, and Tate Mayfair's enjoying his handiwork. Telling people to get their cameras out. Telling people to get a glimpse of greatness. Because Tateness is greatness in his eyes and in many. It doesn't matter how many We Hate Tate shirts sell. Tate Mayfair continues to excel. A right hand coming off the turnbuckle once again. And Tommy Lawrence is getting a real taste. And again, that vicious kick utilized beautifully. Tommy Lawrence is getting a real taste of what Tate Mayfair can do. Well, that is pretty self-explanatory. It's not just about hurting. It's not just about dissecting. It's not just about beating the everlasting excrement out of your opponent for Tate Mayfair. It's all about letting the world know just how great he is. You want to talk about a chip on your shoulder. None bigger than Tate Mayfair's. Oh, look out. Well, I think a little bit too much showboating and Tommy Lawrence is able to escape momentarily and you can see the eyes a little bit glazed over. A nasty landing face first for the All Nations champion. Tommy Lawrence must capitalize on this moment because you do not get many moments to get an upper hand on Tate Mayfair's. Tommy Lawrence sidesteps him beautifully, comes off the ropes, flying forearm and another one to boot and now Tommy Lawrence this is what I'm talking about you have to stay on the all nations champion suplex attempt Tate Mayfair's floats over and right into the lower back once again Irish whip but Tommy Lawrence ducks the clothesline and comes flying back with a beautiful sling blade textbook by Tommy Lawrence and catch 22's shining star has a chance here to capitalize and potentially cause an upset in many people's eyes by becoming the new All Nations Champion, a trouble in paradise, roundhouse, kick to the back of Tate Mayfair's head, he might be out, oh my god, and Tommy Lawrence was just a moment, a tiny fraction of a moment away from becoming the new All Nations Champion. That will cause a headline in British professional wrestling. And Tate Mayfair looks completely worse for wear. The halufa kick right in the corner. Stuffed right into his face. And now a humongous blue thunder bomb. And that might very well be that. Oh, Tate Mayfair, while kicking out, gouges the eyes of Tommy Lawrence. And holy cow, the velocity on that blue thunder. And oh my god, a vicious rising knee lift. And now potentially a Tate trigger right into the side of the head. And look how I think Tate Mayfair has just about had enough and he's going to apply that beautiful penthouse maneuver that inverted suplex flattens Tommy Lawrence in the middle of the ring and that will be that Tate Mayfair retains the All Nations Championship against the very game Tommy Lawrence Once again, there's the call from our compare Stephen Barker, and now, oh, wait a minute, Shen Wu, the contract in the case winner, is eyeing up, dare I say, sizing up, 
Tate Mayfest, you're like, oh man, Tate Mayfest is not happy with that. His own manager is sizing him up and he's saying, what the hell do you think you are doing? Shen Wu could cash in that case right now for a chance at the All Nations Championship. Ah, oh, the hand off and I think Tate Mayfest has realised that Shen Wu is down here actually more so to support him, but that right there shows you everything you need to know about that case. At any point, Shen Wu could cash that in. Tate Mayfairs would do very well to keep Shen Wu on side, especially considering he holds that case. But right now, the All Nations champion retains.